Did you know that 30% of infants and toddlers attend a pre-K or daycare in the U.S.? That's almost 7 million children. Welcome to another episode of KID to Tuesday from KID Close TV. If you're new here and this is your first time, make sure you like, comment, and hit that notification bell so that you're informed on when our next episode is. On today's episode, we're going to deal with five mistakes that parents make when they're, chi- when they're dressing their child to go to pre-K or daycare. Let's talk about it. Number one, dressy clothes. Dressy clothes interfere with outdoor play or recess. Ruffles and extra material can get caught in playground equipment, which can send, which can harm the child and send the child to the emergency room. The only clothing that they need at this time is a t-shirt, jeans, or a long sleeve t-shirt, elastic pants. Now, child care providers love elastic pants because elastic pants gives the child independence. And also it helps them to learn how to potty train and do it by themselves. The child can easily slide down the pants and do and learn how to potty train without dealing with buttons and zippers because their fingers or hands are not strong enough yet or they don't have the motor skills to actually button or zipper. So elastic pants are very convenient at this age. Number two, appropriate clothes for the season. Many childcare providers have seen this many times. Sweats and sweaters in the summer, shorts in the winter. No, that's not going to work. Make sure your child is appropriately dressed. Now that we're coming into fall, they should be dressed in a long sleeve, in a short sleeve shirt over a long sleeve shirt with some pants, jeans, or as we explain later, an elastic pants. If they get too warm, they could take off the outer short sleeve t-shirt and they still have the long sleeve shirt on them to keep them appropriately comfortable and warm. Number three, not including a jacket in their backpack. School buildings often are, have air conditioning and the air conditioning can be very cold. This makes it very difficult for a child to learn if they're not appropriately warm. So it's important that you include a light sweater, not even a light jacket, but a light sweater should be, should be sufficient for them to keep them warm in an air conditioned building. Number four, Do not send a child in flip-flops or open-toed shoes. This can be very dangerous in a playground. An open-toed shoes and flip-flops, they can cut themselves with glass, rocks, any material that's on the ground. So prevent this, the best thing that you can do is to send your child in sneakers. And if they don't know how to tie their shoes, they have shoes today that have no laces or even have Velcro where the child can put on their shoes by themselves until they are able to wear shoes that they're able to tie themselves. Not providing an extra set of clothes for the daycare or pre-K. Ideally, you should send a set of clothes for the pre-K separately and place another set in the backpack with a plastic bag so they can seal any soiled clothes or any soiled clothes or dirty clothes that need to be washed. Clothes that should be included in the backpack or provided to the pre-K, pre-K or daycare should be a t-shirt, pants, and socks. And it's not even for accidents, but spills in the lunchroom, snack messes, or even activities. I remember when my son was in pre-K, he used to come home every day with painting marks all over his shirt. And we're gonna give you a free tip. Something that we discussed earlier, make sure you label all your child's clothes. It's very challenging to deal with the daycare and pre-K and mistakes with clothes often happen all the time. So to prevent this, make sure that your child's clothes are labeled. The child's clothes that should be labeled should be t-shirts, pants, backpacks, hats, and jackets. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of KID Tip Tuesday from KID Clothes TV, produced by KID Clothes. Make sure you 
like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so that so you are notified of when our next episode will be. And we will leave you off with the sponsor of this video, which is KID Clothes, which is KID Clothes just launched on September 1st. We are an online children's clothing line that empowers parents with baby care information so parents can deliver the best care for the child. And we do it through clothes. So check us out at www.kidclothes.info to get your newborn, infants, and soon coming toddler clothes. We will see you next time.